It's my feel-good breakfast show. Indeed, sir, with the rainy winter season fast approaching, it is imperative to stay safe on our roads. And to give us some expert advice on doing just that is driving coach David Goldstein, who joins us this morning. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. Very, very well. So let's start off with, I mean, firstly, the past couple of weeks, we've seen a spate of accidents happening on our roads as a result of the, de the deteriorating conditions on the road. So what are some of the most common accidents that occur during the rainy winter season? Well, obviously... Uh, accidents are more prone to happen in the winter mm. uh, uh, seasons because of the wetness of the roads. Yes. And generally, people drive around with very bad tyres. So your collisions happen at circles. They are front-end collisions, rear-end, side-impact collisions, which are all very, very uh, difficult for the families in the car. Mm -hmm. yeah. They get very bashed up. Yeah. And uh, often this is due to speeding in the wet weather on bad tyres. Yeah, yeah. And often it's also just as a bit of a, 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 I think a moment of neglect when you don't do the necessary things, like checking, for instance, whether mm -hmm. your tyres are well maintained. So what are, what are some of those important checks that people need well, to do? Well, the, the first thing is when you have your car service, yes. you check there are no leaks out of your engine onto the roads. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is the first rains that come loosen the oil with the dirt on the road and the loose rubber that's worn off tyres, and it makes the road extremely slippery, which everyone seems to forget because they go at the same speed, mm -hmm. they keep the same very close following distance, mm -hmm. and therefore cannot stop their cars. Mm -hmm. So during that service, you need to check that you have at least 2.5 millimeters of tread on your tire going into winter, mm -hmm. not the minimum of one millimeter, which is the legal for, I would say, dry weather. Yes. So it, it's, it's a lot to do with the speed and mm -hmm. the following distance. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you are going in very wet, weather mm -hmm. and normally in dry weather you have a two uh, second to three second distance yes that should be doubled or more especially if you're not a very attentive driver to the road uh -huh. you don't uh, do your um, blind spot checks etc so you, like you just K53 need to apply that extra caution do. yes exactly. that is it talk it, to me a bit about um, aquaplaning what exactly is that right, about? what do you do when you catch yourself in that kind of situation. Right, aquaplaning is simply, there's a lot of water on the road and you're going at a speed where your tire tread cannot dissipate that water anymore. Mm -hmm. It forms a huge pressure under, at the very front of the tire. Yes. And it lifts the car and it starts to aquaplane on top of the water. Mm -hmm. Now, not all four wheels will always aquaplane. You might get one yes. at the back, one in the front, mm -hmm. which is very dangerous or you might be lucky and you get all four. The only thing you can do, because yes. you cannot control aquaplaning. When it happens, you have no control of the car because mm -hmm. it tires off uh -huh. the surface of the road. Yes, yeah. so what do you do? You hold the steering wheel straight and tight. Mm -hmm. You gently take your foot off the accelerator yeah. and you hope the car will slow down quickly and take grip of the road again, yeah. and then your heart will be pounding and you'll drive slower. Indeed. Well, David, thank you very much for your expert advice. We really do appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. Yeah. I think it goes without saying that be sure to also buckle up to have the safest journey mm. possible, especially when you are driving during the rainy winter seasons. Now, we're going to take a very quick ad break and find out first what else is coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast show with Leanne.